Good afternoon. I'm Hyungil Kim, uh, Nuclear Data Center of Korea, Korea Atomic. <laughs> Korea, <laughs> Korea Atomic Energy, uh, uh, Energy Research Institute. Uh, let me introduce myself shortly. Um, I major in the physics and nuclear engineering. And, uh, I'm in charge of uh, nuclear data evaluation of our center. Uh, usually, I, uh, I, I have uh, contributed on f produce uh, evaluated nuclear data file, ENDF 7.1, uh, JF 3.2. Yeah. But since 2013, I started to <laughs> participate in experimental at Jalina. Uh, especially for capture cross-section. Actually, I mm, the analyzed uh, uranium-238, but still finish yet. <laughs> so didn't finish yet. So uh, the today topic is capture cross-section measurement for gold-197 at Jalina. Uh, already the, the peaks related uh, this measurement were described well, uh, Carlos, Jan, and Peter. So <laughs> this is kind of an example for um, capture cross-section at Jalina. Yeah. It, uh, this slide showed the difference between trans, uh, <coughs> transmission and reaction. You already saw several times, and Carlos and Jan explained detail. As a reminder, the transmission seems simple. You just need to measure count for sample in and sample out. Uh, that transmission uh, directly related to total cross section. Meanwhile, the uh, experiment capture yield uh, uh, is more complicated. Uh, you have to uh, measure the count. Uh, capture count, and you have to know the efficient, uh, detect the efficiency angle, uh, escape probability, and effective area. Uh, and finally, you have to know the, uh, the <coughs> flux. So the, the um, capture yield uh, is related not only to capture reaction, but also total and elastic uh, uh, cross-section. So this is a uh, kind of schematic view uh, for capture cross-section at Jalina. Neutron uh, produced at target go this way through the applied test. And we measure the, the flux here using um, boron, boron ion ionization chamber. Uh, the neutron passing the chamber hit sample. Sometimes uh, uh, a neutron go without any reaction, sometimes uh, react with some nuclei. If, if uh, neutrons capture in sample, the nuclei is excited and then go to some stable state uh, uh, through emitting gamma. Uh, emitting gamma will be detected in a scintillator here. Then the, uh, the scintillator light will occur and hit the, the Port multiply tube. Then we got the signal. Uh, in order to measure the capture cross section, we have to count. You have to uh, obtain the count for um, capture and flux. Using both re relations, we you can obtain the experimental capture yield. Uh, this is a, a kind of a, some a function of. Uh, Parameter, some parameter, several, lots of parameter, and flux. Flux is uh, required as, as a kind of standard reaction. Now, the, uh, although the all parameters have to be determined and uh, flux yield has to be determined as absolutely, uh, we can um, express it, uh, this complex, uh, compli looks complicated 
uh, the equation to look sim simple equation as a, a normalization function. Yeah. Here the norm normalization uh, accounts for all energy independent parameter and absolute value of a neutron flux. Yeah. The normalization is uh, determined at the energy uh, here. Uh, how to, uh, to normalize, then if, if you think the, the, the n, n sigma total is very large and, uh, and the capture cross-section is uh, almost the same with the total cross-section, then you can get the capture yield almost approximate one. Then the normalization is, can be expressed like this. So, here, the, so we fit the, uh, the, the, the normalization to the uh, experimental data, then we get this uh, value. Here, the, where the non, when, and normalization is independent of sample thickness and any nuclear data, uh, then we got the uncertainty for capture yield uh, below 2%. Yes. Uh, uh, this is a more detailed description for the capture cross section and Jalina. Yeah. The electron beam hit the uranium target, then uh, Bram cell and gamma will occur. Uh, after that, uh, the neutron, uh, neutron will be produced by um, gamma N or gamma fission. Then neutron go this way and they meet the some moderate, then neutron cool down and the, uh, going this uh, neutron is go this way and they meet some filter uh, uh, which are composed of sulf and sodium. And finally, the, uh, we uh, here is the the, the flux uh, the, the uh, boron ionization chamber here. Uh, the neutron hit, um, react here, we get the flux. Finally, the neutron hit the sample. Then some nuclear, uh, neutrons uh, capture in sample. Then they uh, uh, emit the gamma. That C6, D6 detector uh, uh, detected that <coughs> gamma. The, in order to get the counted uh, counts at C6, D6 detector, we, we, we use uh, um, a method of uh, total energy de detection principle and the per site weighting technique. Those are can be uh, explained by the weighting function. This is uh, the, um, obtained by Monte Carlo simulation. Uh, this is a C6, D6 detector, and uh, this is boron 10 ionization chamber. Uh, this is located uh, 125 <coughs> degrees uh, uh, against uh, for uh, neutron beam direction. And uh, detected, detected counting was converted weighted counting using the weighting function. Here we assume the efficiency is uh, pro pro uh, proportional to emitted gamma. That means uh, efficiency, uh, gamma efficiency is uh, Proportion to that is compound nu uh, compound nuclear energy. That flux is uh, uh, measured in the uh, uh, boron energy chamber. We know this uh, reaction well. This is a kind of a standard reaction. Very small uncertainty. So this is uh, the, the total uh, time of flight spectra for flux. I think Peter already described well. Uh, background is determined by black resonance technique. This black resonance technique is already described by Carlos uh, the day before yesterday. And uh, uh, background is, uh, uh, can be described some component. A0 is time independent. Uh, second is uh, the scatter neutron. Third is the uh, the overlap neutron, which is uh, generated by other cycle. So this is already explained by 
the people very well. So black. Uh, so we use the fixed uh, background filter to adjust the A1, A2. Then the uncertainty of background, we got uh, below 3%, and the uncertainty of counting for flux is below 0.3. Uh, this figure for uh, time of flight spectra for capture. Uh, this is the, the blue, blue is the uh, capture count, and the red is the Total background, total background also also same uh, also same explain like uh, flux but component is a component different. C zero is a time independent background, but uh, C W zero uh, is, is uh, due to neutron scattered in environment and measurement without sample. So the time is uh, due to neutron sensitivity of detector system and measurement with the lead. 2A metal disk. Here the RN is the ratio, ratio of neutron yield for gold and lead. We have to also determine the uncertainty of system, systematic effect. We did this uh, measure several times, then we obtained uh, 3% for K1, 5% K2. The uncertainty uh, of K1 and K2 is a uh, uh, correlate uncertainty component. Now we, have, uh, we are going to get the capture yield from uh, flux and capture using this equation. You, you saw several times in, in this, this one. And then if you use this, uh, this, okay, if this formula, you will get this uh, the capture yield. Here we have to determine this value. In order to determine this value of capture cross section, uh, um, we usually use the well saturated uh, saturated resonance. In bold case, uh, 9 point, uh, 4.9, the resonance is uh, the uh, well known. Uh, the uh, resonance. The gamma gamma is very large. Uh, uh, so we fit in uh, the data, uh, uh, the, the experimental data, then uh, we determine the, the normalization value. Here the uncertainty is uh, almost 1%. This is already described by the Peter, this go to the this this region is we can resolve. Then go to, uh, we uh, this is go to the uh, uh, resonance parameter. Uh, this go to the average resonance parameter. We will do. Uh, now I'm going to the average resonance uh, uh, average cross section. Ideally, the average cross section can be like this: the capture average capture yield uh, divided by uh, area density. But as uh, Carlos said, uh, said um, on Wednesday, real experimental there are lots of multiple scattering and uh, multiple reaction, so cannot uh, average uh, capture yield cannot be uh, an uh, average sigma capture uh, and sigma and yeah average capture cross section. But if you think very thin target, then we can we can approximately this is the same. So we uh, uh, in become the this this uh, this. Uh, certified this equation, we need some, 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 some factor. So we uh, in, uh, introduce the correction factor. The which uh, uh, for correction factor for capture um, is the ratio ratio of uh, capture yield for real target divided by capture yield for very thin target. 
this is calculated by MCMP simulation. Then, the employing the correction factor, the average capture cross-section can be uh, described like this. Uh, capture yield, capture, average capture yield divided by correction factor and area density. This is the result. Uh, flight path 12.5 meter and the thickness is 0.5 millimeter. And another is same flight path, different thickness 1.0. Last is the different <coughs> the flight path length and the thickness 1.0. Then we obtained the uncertainty of average capture cross section is 1.2. Uh, this is uh, yesterday. You also saw a similar, similar the table, and when you when you running the AGS, and uh, today also the Peter described very well detail. So, <laughs> yeah, this is the <coughs> energy. Uh, this is energy interval low, 3.5 kV to 4.0 kV, and correction factor. Average capture cross section, and this is the um, covariance matrix. This uh, the counted statistics go go to the diagonal term, and remaining d0, k1, k2, uh, the normalization go to the off diagonal component. Then we obtained the uncertainty zone. Uh, the capture, uh, average capture cross section 1.2. Uh, this is a comparison between the cap, uh, experimental data to, with the, the standard library. Uh, this is, uh, 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 you already saw the Peter's uh, presentation. The total uncertainty is uh, one to two percent. Uh, this is the, cap uh, the uncertainty for capture. Uh, this figure is, uh, compares with the uh, experimental data to the uh, evaluation. Evaluation means uh, model calculation, uh, which is uh, used uh, how the Peshwa model with the width fluctuation for total and capture. Oh, that's it. Thank you.